Well, I've just finished modifying my um, ZX Spectrum Plus 48K um, to composite. Um, there's a little hack you can do, which changes the RF modulator, so you can um, actually run through a composite signal using a set of funnel cables. It greatly enhances the display. Um, I've just had my other little new toy, which has just arrived, which is um, the Kemp Y interface. Um, this is designed by some guy called uh, Lotharek, and what this basically does is it uh, provides 48K with a AY sound chip, which is the same sound processor which was using the 128K models. It doesn't instantly turn the machine into a Spectrum 1 to 8, but any games that use 1 to 8K sound in 48K mode will actually work. Uh, plugged into the back of this is the Divide 57C interface. Um, this is, of course, these unboxes you can see, um, and in the back, a 2 gig. Um, Compact flash card um, to actually get your Spectrum games onto this device. Um, it's just a simple case of using a card reader. There's a simple card reader there. Um, obviously, it reads various types of card: SD, XD, micro SD, compact flash. Um, compact flash slot is on the back here. As I say, these can be bought on eBay for about 99p. Plug it into your PC. Whack your compact flash card in the back. Uh, you then see it pop up in XP as a removable drive. Um, the compact flash card is then formatted to FAT16 format. And uh, once you've done that, you can then copy your Spectrum emulator files onto your compact flash card via the card reader. Um, depends what what firmware you're running on the divide. Um, obviously, the most easiest one is probably FATware. Just a case of pressing a button on the Divide 57C, um, and up pops your little file selector where you choose your games. Um, it reads um, TAP um, Z18 snapshot files at the moment. So that's your little card reader. That's how you get your games, your Spectrum, all your Spectrum emulator games, onto Compact Flash, which is just there. So what we're going to now do in a minute is plug it all in. Right, all plugged in. Um, I've just Plugged um, an old Atari 2600 joystick into the um, Kempe Y inter interface. That's uh, here. Um, for the AY sound off the Kempe Y, there's also a 3.5 mil stereo jack, uh, which leads to the TV via two funnels for a sound output. Right, let's plug it all in then and uh, see how it goes. Right, that's the um, Spectrum Plus powered up. So we can see here the little divide logo, which is for the fatware, which is um, the firmware built into the divide interface. It's saying there's one volume found. I've got one compact flash card on here. Right, let's press, there we go, that's gone to Sinclair Basic due to the composite mod on my Spectrum Plus I've done. Right, now, divide, there's a little switch, well a little button, let's press that, you saw a little green light come on, that's as it was reading the compact flash card. Right, there we go, that way this browser's popped up. Um, with this you just use the up and down arrows on the Spectrum keyboard. So we want to go into games, uh, B. As I say, as I mentioned previously in the video, these were just copied onto a compact flash card formatted to FAT16 using a card reader on a PC. And they're all Spectrum emulator tap files on here. Uh, and Divide supports these. Alright, have we got anything on 128K music? So I can show you my Kempe Y interface in action. Mm, let's have a look. There we go, just go up a bit there. Press enter, and at that point it returns to Spectrum Basic. So you've got to do the good old load blip blip, load quote quote or whatever it's called, and press enter. There you go, one to eight K sound coming out of a Spectrum 48K plus. Okay, see of the Kempe Y interface. 
Right, I've no idea I'm going to play this because I'm going to hold the camera and operate the joystick. And I'm not ambidextrous or anything like that. Right. Oh, there we go. Kempston. Enter the start. Well, I'm going to be crap at this because I'm holding the camera with one arm and trying to operate a bloody joystick. Oh. The basic idea of it is it's um, you've got to clear all the aliens from one level. Um, and on your way, also destroy the space stations. And you do get fuel actually, so it's a case of there's a space station there. You get fuel, there's fuel pick up there. Look. You've got ideas, you've got to shoot between the little pods on the space station to blow it up. Um, very tricky. And at the moment, I can, can't steer and fire an older camera, so that's my excuse. Hmm. Oh, game over. Anyway, that is the Kemp AY interface with Divide 57C. Both interfaces um, are normally available from the Czech Republic or Poland normally. So various hobbyists actually construct these. You can get them in kit form as well, I think. Um, Divide comes as a kit. Uh, the Kemp AY, Loferet does via his website, and this one's I think it's about £35, including the postage. So, and as I say, if you have a plus three, Spectrum plus three, the Kemp AY will also work with that as well, um, which is fantastic because the Amstrad plus three models do have a sound problem due to Amstrad's wonderful um, engineers. Yes. Right, that's another video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you around. Goodbye.